Okay, guys, Acomodo Crypto here, and uh, this is our daily chart. We are now 200, no, my goodness, 400 and what? 437 days in this correction. And what is going on, guys? We have, we have, ha we had a significant drop in a significant dump uh, during the weekend, okay? Um, notice that I have mentioned that this pattern here of uh, increasing in, in volume, then decreasing, and then an anticipation of a, a, a surge in volume, then a decrease, uh, it might happen again, okay? I'm considering it. Um, and... Uh, it might be a, um, it might be a, a definitely it is going if if it happens it's going to be a much lower a, a pattern much lower in uh, in dimension relative to the last one and relative to the first one so this is what I think is going to happen that's why I think that we're going to have some kind of a uh, of sideways movement okay uh, daily. The daily chart, if we are to, to, to see here what's happening, we had that, uh, that falling wedge. Then we had this reaction that was proportional to this falling wedge. See, we almost have a double top here. I think we have a double top, don't we? Almost, guys. This is beat stamp. We almost had a double top. And this would be, if we finish here, is ABC, this would be a truncated C. If we are allowing for truncation, we would have failed to get to this 50% here. Remember, 50% from the second wave here to the third here, okay? This is would be the 50%, okay? We have touched again the 38 20%. So it's enough. In this case, a truncation would indicate that we are going down dramatically this would be the first target okay 2500 okay i made the so, case that we are that we have uh, some kind of inverted head and shoulder formation here okay but inverted head and shoulders are um trend reversal patterns so and we have this and it happens usually at the end of uh, of a trend so the week chart the weekly chart uh, as I as I have pointed out we have tickling now to the upside here on the on the MACD. I have pointed out that we might that we might have the, that we would try to touch the 21 uh, uh, exponential moving average here the, the 21 the bluish one but we actually we touched let me just Remove this one. We touched the 200 EMA, and then we had this huge inverted hammer here, pushing the price down. Okay, even though we had this huge spike in volume during the week, during the last week, right? The 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 bull's attempt to go a further uh, a further higher here was completely. Uh, frustrated by the bears and now we are having a second armor here and a diminishing price uh, a, a diminishing volume here so really difficult moment now to enter any sort of position okay what I see now for the <clears throat> what I see now for the one hour chart is that we have a potential a potential for another leg up for another moment here for one more push to the upside why because when we retrace we traced here if we just consider from this bottom here to this top i am actually considering that we have what one two three four five that we might have a four here it's not impossible guys we, if this is us if this is an ending diagonal okay imagine it's it's an ending diagonal we have this uh, overlap here Okay. Moreover, we have we have held this pitchfork 
one point, two points, third, the third point here, it's holding. The pitchfork is holding. So the bulls are kind of controlling this, this pitchfork here, this movement. If it breaks down here, though, remember, this is the line here that I showed here that might be uh, that I showed that I I showed guys that I showed you guys here that we might have a, a inverted head and shoulder. So we have a lot of possibilities. This is the head and shoulder, okay? This is the ass, the one shoulder here, the head is here, and the other shoulder would be here. But it's just a speculation. We don't have data to confirm that. We have a one, two, three, four, five, if you want. It's not impossible. That's why I'm telling you guys that we, we might have a truncation, but I don't like to consider a truncation. It's almost, I, I, this is one, you know, one hour stamp, what, what is it? It's a, yes, it's a few bucks below it. it it's a truncation. Um, but the price that we, just this, this dump here indicates would be a, an, uh, a, a confirmation that we have a truncation here if we continue going down, okay? If we break, guys, the, this line here, it's gonna be easy, actually. If we break this line here, which which which, which would be the sec, which would be which would invalidate that we have another wave going up here, okay? To finish this C. If you break this line here, this line here is 3,500. Below 3,500, it that's it. So I would move my stop loss to this my stop loss for longs, okay? This is my stop loss for oh sorry stop loss for the potential last wave to complete wave C, right? Um, then of course we we, are, we would have uh, we would have broken the the six one eight six five percent here of this retracement here, and that would be it. That would be it. Okay. Actually, we are now in the 61865% if we are to consider this the third wave. Okay, so it's both cases are on the table. Okay, we have the third wave here, and this is the fourth. And then it would go up again. And we have kind of a, a, an ending diagonal formation here if, if you want to be like really, really, really. This is the ending diagonal. It's we would have something like um, starting here, right? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, going down here, one, two, three, five. I know. This is just speculation for now, guys. Just speculation. But, but if we break below this line here, C is in, C would be here. Okay, then we have a three here, four, five, and then this is done. Okay, we would go down, definitely. Okay, uh, but the path, the overall path, guys, is down. Okay, we have, I don't, I, I, I don't have data to confirm any sort of a bullish momentum here. Because if you are to say that this is a one, and then we have a two here, it's a weird formation for a one, two wave. Okay, just because of this dump here, I don't know. This doesn't really look to me, this whole structure here doesn't look to me like an impulse wave. One, two, this is a one of a two. I'm sorry, this is a one of the third. Okay, one, two, then we would have a three, four, five. We would need to touch the median line here. Then, and only then we would, this is 4,700. This is what median line here. We touch here the corner. We need to get to the 100 extension here, minus 100 extension, minus 100 algo target here to confirm that we indeed have uh, some kind of bullish momentum that we might have a bottom here. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't suppose a bottom here because what the data is showing us is something different. But let's let's wait and see, guys. Okay, let's wait and see. What I would 
definitely do is if we get to this minus 36%, 50% retracement here, the 40, 40, um, 4,400 here, I would start laddering my shorts, okay? Because then we would have a lot of selling pressure here. This is the 50%, 4,400, 4, okay? Now is a re huge resistance, this area here. If, As I, if we challenge this strong resistance here, the 6K, 6K region, and we go above, above it, then I would believe that the bottom is in. The bottom is in only if we go above 6K and hold it, okay? Because remember, this, this resistance here was for the whole 2018, really difficult to break. And when we broke it, now it's a strong resistance, okay? I think that's enough for Bitcoin, guys. Um, that's it, right? Guys, thanks for watching. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications. Go to my description and join our Discord group. It's totally free, okay? So, guys, enjoy your time, enjoy your tradings. Thank you very much, and I see you guys next time.